welcome to my first Let's Play Dress Up. Now, I wanted to make this Let's Play as interactive as possible, so if you want to play along and have some fun, here is how. I'm going to dress up seven or eight different girls. You are going to choose your top three, rank them in order, one being your favorite, second, then third, and chuck them in the comments below. Then we can see who is the most popular girl with the most votes. Cool? Ready? Awesome. Our first category, as you can see, is Princess Winter Ball. Let's play! Okay, I can tell straight away that I am going to love this game. These dresses are so pretty and quite obviously heavily inspired by Cinderella, so I am down with that. I am the biggest Disney nut ever, so we're going to have to start with classic Cinderella. We are going to keep her clean and classy. We need this perfect tiara because there is no blue headbands. Her choker, obviously, and some glass slippers. The blue was a little garish, so I went for purple. And some nice understated plain earrings. And she is ready for the ball. If you think that this is love, then vote for Cinderella in your top three below. Next up, I'm going to try live action Cinderella. So here's her dress, and she's got much blonder hair than classic Cinderella. And other than that, I actually don't really know what she looks like. So I am just going to play around with the accessories a little bit and see what I can come up with. Um, I don't want too much going on with her, I want her to be a little more simple, and I think she looks absolutely stunning. So if you love her as much as I do, then make sure you include a live action Cinderella in your top three in the comments below. For contestant three, I wanted to try something a little different by using this dress here. Yeah, not gonna lie, it's not my fave, but I'm going to do my best to make her look as amazing as possible, and I think that means using very low-key muted accessories, because there's obviously already a lot going on in this dress as it is, but I think the result is absolutely phenomenal. She looks beautiful considering the circumstances, and if you think so too, make sure that you include Disco Princess in your top three below. Contestant four, and it's time for uh, this little number. When I first saw this dress, I was like, what am I gonna do with that? But now that I've seen it on, I think it's super pretty. It goes beautifully with her eyes. We just need to, again, be very careful how we accessorize it because it's another very loud dress and I feel like it would be so easy to overpower it with tiaras like that. So we'll just keep it plain and I think it works. It's perfect from the shoulders up. She's muted, she's demure, she's beautiful and natural. And then you've got this big blingage dress little pale pink shoes peeking through. She's gorgeous and if you think so too, make sure you include Anastasia in your top three below. Actually, let's call her Anna. Easier. A-N-A. -A. Contestant five! And we have come to our fifth and final dress in our wardrobe and I've got to say, I think it is my favorite. Me personally, I love big puffy dresses, but this dress on this girl is so elegant and sleek and sophisticated. I absolutely love it. You will see that I take a little bit more time styling it because I think it's so pretty that I want to get all the accessories just right. And unfortunately, I don't know if it's just me, but I couldn't figure out how to remove an accessory once I'd put it on. Like I could change a necklace to another type of necklace, but I couldn't figure out how to take the necklace off entirely. So that was kind of annoying, but it doesn't matter because in the end, I came up with this. And I think she is stunning. I don't want to sway your opinion at all, but she is my favorite. So if she's your favorite too, make sure you vote for Liberty in your number one spot. She's called Liberty, because don't you think she looks like the Statue of Liberty a bit? I think so. Ah, oh, she's gorgeous. Contestant six, and we are straying into foreign territory here with the skirts and shirts collection. Now the skirts are okay, I don't mind them, some of them are really cool, but the shirts are just, ugh, they are so, 
so, so not okay. I struggled to do anything with them really and what I came up with was something actually really similar to Liberty as you can see. Same hair, same accessories, same sort of sleek look but I think Elsa is absolutely stunning. She's holding her own. Yeah, you go girl. If you love Elsa, make sure you vote for her in your top three below. Contestant 7. And I'm going a little bit astray with this one because I wanted to use this skirt and this top just because it's quite obviously meant to be a set. So I just wanted to play around and basically see if I could make it work for the category because to me it looks more like she's going to a spring dance or a summer dance which is fine but the category was winter dance so as gorgeous as she is look at her stunning I'm not quite sure she fits the bill but that is for you to decide if you love Elena then vote for her in the comments E L E N A our eighth and final contestant was inspired entirely by this skirt here. Boom! I love it. It is by far my favorite skirt. It's so fluffy and frilly and girly. I bet it looks great spinning around. We're going to chuck a wrap on her because we haven't used a wrap yet and I just want her shirt to look a little bit different from Elsa's and she's ready to go. I think she is absolutely stunning. We're going to call her Ella because she's kind of got that Cinderella-esque vibe to her with the hair and the colour scheme and little glass slippers which aren't really glass but we'll pretend they are. Um, if you love Ella, oh, last time I'm going to say this, vote for her in your top three in the comments below. Let's have all of our contestants out one last time. Woo! Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had fun. I certainly did. Just before you go, an honourable mention to our four runner-up contestants. Ladies, you are awesome. Hang in there and try again next year. Bye!